a hole. Let's cook a tri-tip. And we're going to check out some thermometers on the way. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard. What I got going on for you today is we're going to have a thermometer shootout. I'll tell you, it's not going to be much of a shootout, but I have this meter thermometer that my wife got me for Christmas and I've used it a couple times. It's got a little button you push, see that little green LED? It tells you it's charged. And it's nice, it's a nice thing. I like it a lot. We're gonna connect that to my uh, smartphone if I don't throw it on the ground first. Yeah, we're gonna connect that to the smartphone. Let's see, gotta get the meter app. There we go. We'll get that connected to the smartphone. I've got a tri-tip roast that I've been marinating in uh, teriyaki marinade all night. And I'll give you the recipe for that in the description. But I was recently contacted by these folks, the Meat Stick X. Now this thing is a real game changer. I'll tell you why. No cook setup. Well, here, I'm going to set up a cook. How about that? I'm setting up the cook. Tap the setup to cook. Okay, beef. Uh, they don't have a preset for tri-tip, but it says other. And I already set it for 125 degrees. Um, rare. That's how I want to, I'm doing a reverse sear. So I want to pull this thing at 125 and then I'll sear it. You have to pull the thermometers out of it and sear it. But anyway, that's going to, that's going to be the smartphone's going to be the, uh, meter thermometer and you don't need the box. It's got a nice, uh, box made out of bamboo. It's got the battery compartment in the back. And now uh, you see the interface really simple and easy to use. It's a really nice thing. But anyway, it has a very limited range. It only goes about three feet. Three feet away from the thermometer to the smartphone. Now I've got my Meat Stick X that was just sent to me by the Meat Stick people. And, uh, ah, nice, nice garbage truck. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I like this thing a lot. I'll tell you why. It's got about 10 times the range of that thing. It goes about 33 feet. So you can sit inside the house with this thing in the air conditioning and monitor your cook. Whereas you can't do that with the uh, meter. The meter works great. I use it, the best place to use is on a rotisserie. But I'm not doing a rotisserie today. I'm just cooking this uh, tri-tip. So anyway, I'm gonna get both thermometers stuck in the tri-tip. I'm sure they're both gonna be within a degree of each other. The only thing is, I can go and sit in the air conditioning in the house with my tablet, my uh, smart tablet, and I'll be able to monitor this thing from inside. I won't have to uh, be next to it. The smartphone's gonna have to be right next to that other thing, the meter, to get a, a signal. So if you're comparing the two thermometers, you're thinking about buying one or the other, I have to tell you that this thing, uh, I gotta press that button down. I should have opened the app first. Anyway, let me get this all set up. I'll put it on the grill and show it to you, but what I'm saying is this one has a plastic enclosure, but there's a reason for this plastic enclosure is it's a repeater. So this thing will have to sit out here by the grill, but it transmits from here into the house 33 feet away. You know, that's kind of a plus in my opinion. Anyway, this thing works great. I've used it before, going to use it again, but this thing is, uh, goes a little bit further. You know what I'm saying? It goes that extra step towards taking the 33 feet distance and uh, doing something with it. Anyway, let me get this all set up and get it on the grill. I'll show you what that looks like. And then we'll uh, check the interfaces out, check the temperatures. I, I'm sure they're gonna be within a, a degree of each other. So stay tuned. All right, my tri-tip is on the grill. I got the meat stick inserted here and the meter here. Here's the interface for the meat stick on my tablet. Shows you what temperature it's at and so forth, and battery charge and so forth and so on. It's going to alert me when it gets to 125 degrees. Here's the one for the meter with your estimated cook time, temperature, target temperature and all. It's going to also alert me, but this has to stay out here in my smartphone. Whereas with the meat stick, this part of it stays out here, but I can go inside the tablet and sit in a chair and wait for this thing to come up to 125 degrees. And when it does, We'll pull both thermometers out and we'll give it a good sear right on the hot coals. And that'll be it. My teriyaki marinated beef has been marinating all night. It's going to be delicious. So stay tuned. I'll show you what that looks like when we sear it, when we're done cooking it. And then we'll talk a little bit about the two thermometers. And then we'll drink a beer. So stay tuned. 
Man, that tri-tip is looking beautiful. Uh, my meter thermometer is throwing off a, a, a warning saying that it's time to take the meat off the grill because it's reached a target temperature. But I think I have the meter in a thinner spot than the uh, meat stick, which is only at 114 degrees. But we're going to pull it out anyway. Pull it out of there. Okay. And I'm going to leave the meat stick inserted for a little bit longer until I get to 125 on that one. So that was my fault because I put the, I put the meat meter in a thinner part of the meat and I got the meat stick in a thicker part. But anyway, we only got to come up a few more degrees and it'll be time to sear this puppy. And then we can put it on a plate, cut it up and taste it. I'm sure it's going to taste great. That's got nothing to do with the thermometers. It's just a, an ease of... Uh, cooking for you and I was able to sit inside the house and monitor the meat meat stick whereas the meter I had to take the phone inside because I was getting a call and I lost connection of course as soon as I came back out it re-established connection so it's no big deal anyway uh, between the two thermometers I have to tell you the meat stick is the better value they're about the same price and I know it was given to me but it's an inescapable fact that 33 feet is better than three feet so let me get a good sear on this thing. We'll get it on a plate, slice it up, and take a taste. Stay tuned. Ah, my tri-tip is perfectly done. Medium rare in the middle, just the way I like it. Here's today's beer. And I gotta get an opener, hang on. Oh, over here. Today we've got Stone IPA, a legendary Stone Brewing Company, iconic West Coast IPA, 6.8% alcohol which is perfect for me get this puppy open without foaming over or spilling it we're going to tilt that glass we're going to pour out that beautiful india pale ale this really is beautiful let me tell you what wow that's amazing and an excellent pour professional pour i must say look at that did i do good rob i think so Stone IPA. Let's quaff the froth off it, Rob. Not even going to smell it. I know it smells great. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing like a nice IPA after a morning of grilling meat. Here's a piece of my tri-tip. I think it's a little, it might be a little overdone for me, but I think it's a perfect medium rare. For everybody else, I'm going to put that in my mouth. Mm -mm. That's delicious. That teriyaki marinade is excellent. And I love a tri-tip. And uh, both of those thermometers did what they were supposed to do. But uh, like I said, the meat stick has a little bit further range than the other one. If you're considering buying one, I want to recommend the meat stick to you. Not because they gave it to me, not because it looks pretty, but because it's got 10 times the range of this comparably priced meter. The meter works fine, as long as you want to sit out here and watch it. I'm eating another piece of that. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. I can't tell you. A teriyaki flavor really got in there. Mmm. Yeah. So there you go, babies. That's my video. Uh, you know what I always say. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. This is delicious. This tri-tip. Absolutely fantastic. I could have cut it a little thinner. But I don't mind. It's fine. Anyway, you know what I always say. If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, I think uh, the meat stick might have their own channel on YouTube. I'm going to check it out. If they do, I'll put that up in the iCard. And uh, yeah, isn't that great? I'm loving it. Okay, babies. I'll see you next week. Bye.